Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I hope by the end of this video, I have a name for this dish. By the way, welcome to Duke Dot. My name's Amanda. So we're starting off with some zucchini and I was inspired by Pinterest where you've got these like zucchini lasagna roll-ups, except I'm not gonna be using any ricotta cheese or anything today. So I don't think it's quite fair to call it lasagna, but I want to do a zucchini dish with some cheese and chicken and a marinara sauce. So I think it's gonna be good. So I've got this kind of peeler. And as you can see, I'm just going to peel off strips. The other thing you can use is a, hold on, I need a knife. Forgot to cut off the end there, which won't be very good to peel. The other thing you can use is a mandolin, which I do have, but I wanted to try to use the peeler because I feel like this is a little bit more accessible for most families. More, more kitchens have them. So we want to just make as you know many strips as you can, trying to keep them fairly consistent size. And then I have this cookie rack out because what we're going to do is lay them out and lightly salt them. Okay, as you get like halfway through, it can get a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put my hand on this side, get it started, and then move my hand to the other side so that it gives me something to grip. And then you can still get a slice. It's just a matter of finagling it. Maybe one more. <laughs> And you know, get your head into it, right? Like full body experience here. Whew. There we go. Okay, as you can see, I've got a whole lot of zucchini here. So I am the queen of shortcuts, but don't skip this step because if you do, your final dish is going to be soggy because zucchini is a very watery vegetable. And if you don't take the time to do this step, it, the zucchini will weep out into your final dish and you'll just have a very watery um, end product that you'll be a little disappointed at. I, I promise, I know this, you know how I know this? Cause I've done it, I've so done it before. So I've not made this exact dish, but I have done a actual like zucchini lasagna where I use these as noodle layers and I didn't <laughs> salt this. And so when I went to go cut it, it tasted good, but it was watery and loose. All I'm doing is I've got these spread out onto some baking racks. You could probably also use just some paper towels or put them down on a clean towel. And I am just lightly, lightly sprinkling some salt on top of them. And we're just gonna go about our day, let these sit for 30 minutes to an hour. We'll come back and check on them and then I'll give you an update. So it's been about 45 minutes and you can see the water kind of bubbling up out of the zucchini. Take a paper towel and kind of just blot them and pull up some of that moisture. Wow, look at that, it's really coming up. And they're gonna sit for a little bit longer here even while I make the inside that we're gonna stuff them with. That's really pulling up a lot of uh, moisture. This is, paper towel is now very wet. Here's my buddy down there hoping I drop something, Watson. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use canned chicken today. I always talk about whole real foods. This has chicken, water, and salt. It's the only ingredients. So I'm perfectly happy to use this canned chicken. If you've got any other kind of leftover chicken, you could use it. You could use ground turkey, you know, whatever floats your boat. You could leave out the chicken and just add more cheese. I'm not using any ricotta or cottage cheese, but you could definitely <laughs> put that in this meal. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so I've got, I like to use whole milk mozzarella. Use whatever cheese that you want. I'm just putting in, I'm gonna put in about half this bag. I'm totally, or more. <laughs> I'm totally just kind of making this up as I go. And then to season, I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, basil, and then we'll add our usual salt and pepper. So that was onion powder. Ooh, smells so good, garlic powder. Italian season would be good too. I'm just using straight up basil. 
pepper, salt. Remember we did salt the zucchini, so I'm not gonna put too much salt in here. Kind of stir this together, and then I'm gonna add an egg to kind of just help bind it even a little bit more. And if you used cottage cheese or ricotta cheese, that's going to help bring stuff together even more. Honestly, I'll let you know in a secret. The main reason why I'm not using cottage or ricotta, I don't like ricotta cheese. So whenever I do these types of dishes, I, there's Echo, I just saw his tail go by. Usually when I do these types of dishes, I use cottage cheese because I prefer it. And the main reason why I'm not tonight is because I forgot to buy it. And one thing that I want to teach y'all is how to just substitute and make dishes work. You know, don't say, oh, I'm not going to make that dish tonight just because, you know, you might be missing something. Now, you know, obviously you can't make zucchini roll-ups without zucchini. Um, <laughs> although if you had eggplant, you could use eggplant. You know, I mean, just get creative, right? Okay, so the egg kind of helps bind this into something that we can work with. And now let's get to making some little flowers. Just double checked my refrigerator, make sure I didn't already have an open jar because I, who else does that? You open a jar and don't remember that you already had one in there. So this is just a very simple organic, um, no Watson, <laughs> we're not, it's not time for your dinner. Um, excuse me, guys, I'm filming here. <laughs> Echo and Watson are trying to help me out here. Isn't it nice to have kitchen helpers? Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of marinara sauce, actually about half an inch or so down in the bottom of this. Now I'm just using this kind of pretty fluted pie plate. You could use a square casserole dish if you wanna make a bunch of them, scale the recipe up and you know make, the only thing is, these aren't, I don't think would freeze very well, so you don't wanna to make too much. So I'm gonna take two of these and put them on my cutting board. I'm gonna put a little bit of my stuffing down at one end, and I'm going to roll it up. Hold on, is that gonna to be too tall? Yeah, that's gonna to be too tall, hold on. Told you I was making this up as I go. Okay. I'm going to overlap them even more because I don't want them to be taller than my dish. I'm going to put my stuffing back on there and I'm going to roll it up. See, I meant to do it that way. And then we're gonna just set it down into the pie plate and we're gonna just make a bunch of these. Yeah, kind of dampen these off as you go will help too. So I've got them together, I'm going to roll them up and then put it in my pie plate. All right, I'm gonna make a bunch of these and we'll be back. Okay, I had just enough to fill. If I had had one more, maybe two more, it would have been a little bit nice and tighter. So there's 18 in here, 36 strips of zucchini. But again, I think 20, 20 would have filled it a little tighter, but. We'll make do. Okay, to keep it completely low carb, don't add breadcrumbs, but I'm not going for a completely low carb diet. I'm just kind of lowering my carbs a little bit lately. Over the holidays, I just got a little into the baked goods and the fresh breads and the muffins. So trying to up my veggie count and lower my carb count. The carbs are still a necessary part of your diet, I believe, so I'm not trying to get rid of them completely. Anyway, so I am topping this with a little bit of breadcrumbs for crunch, but feel free to modify this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this all up because I don't have that much. It's not worth saving. Modify and leave the breadcrumbs out if you want. And then got some Parmesan cheese. That we're just going to top the whole thing with, just adds a different flavor to the mozzarella. And then I've been preheating my oven. Uh, I think I have it at three, no, I put it at 400. I always cook hot. 
<laughs> so I've got my oven just baking at 3, uh, 400, I mean, and I'm gonna pop this in for about 20 minutes and then we'll check on it. After about 20 minutes, I put it on the broiler. Oh shoot, looks like it might be on fire. Ah. Let's turn that off and see what we got. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. Okay, so I put it under the broiler and a couple of them got a little burnt, but that's okay. We will work around that and I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so if you move it up to put it under the broiler, make sure it's not that close. Watson wants to be in the shot. I pulled off some of the, the crispy pieces. I'm still pretty excited how it turned out. Let's go ahead and try to plate it and give it a taste. Hopefully it's not too hot. Let's see, is there any way to plate this up where it's gonna look pretty? We'll see. Oh, it smells good. I'd say that doesn't look too bad. Now let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm. That is really good. Mm. The Parmesan is definitely needed. I like that Parmesan hit on the top. So good. And adds like a kind of really deep, you know, Parmesan salty in that salty way. I don't know. Mmm, <laughs> yum. So it actually kind of, it does actually give me off that like lasagna vibes. But even without the ricotta cheese. The zucchini is really easy to eat. It's not stringy or rubbery or anything of those weird textures that sometimes vegetables. I mean, honestly, it kind of feels like I am eating a noodle, strangely enough. So I find that this is gonna be a really delicious dinner. I hope that the husband and the kids love it. I know my daughter Maddie, zucchini is not one of her favorite vegetables, so it will be interesting to see how this plays out. But I hope you make this. It is... It's, you know, a little bit more involved with rolling it up and everything, but it's actually really easy. Using the canned chicken is a nice time saver and some, some healthy dinner to add to your rotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and be part of the Dit Dot community. And you can follow me on Instagram, also at Dit Dot. And I look forward to talking to you. Until the next video, guys. Bye.